section 6.3 using similar polygons. Recall we've talked about congruent figures before and the two conditions for a congruent figure is that that figure has to have the same size and the same shape. For example, here we see that triangle ABC is roughly congruent to triangle XYZ. And we use this for our congruency statement, that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ, making sure that we match up corresponding angles. Of A to X, B to Y, C to Z. A to X, B to Y, and C to Z. Similar figures, however, have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. We can see that with the triangles on your screen. All the triangles here have the same shape, but some of them look bigger, some smaller. They don't have the same size. For similarity, we use the tilde and the tilde alone. So for example, if we have triangle A, B, C, and X, Y, Z, we say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. We can also name this JKL, in which case we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle JKL. We also know that triangle XYZ is similar to triangle JKL. We can have non-triangles as well. Here we see we have a pentagon, A, B, C, D, E. And we'll name this one J, K, L, M, N. Just like with congruent figures, we want to make sure we match up corresponding parts. So here the J matches with D. N matches with C, that's an easy way to go. B then matches with M. We see that A matches with L and K matches with E. Meaning that our figure A, B, C, D, E is similar. We see A matches with L. And then we go to M and continue around. L, M, N, J, K. These are both pentagons. So pentagon A, B, C, D, E is similar to pentagon L, M, N, J, K. And as I mentioned, what we see is we still have corresponding ang uh, sorry, corresponding sides and corresponding angles. Angle A corresponds to angle L. Angle B corresponds to angle M meaning that side AB corresponds to side LM. It's crucial that you understand that we still have these corresponding parts. It no longer means that all the, si the corresponding sides are congruent, but we do notice something special about them. So in similar figures, corresponding angles are still going to be congruent, meaning in our figures up here, angle A is congruent to angle L, B is congruent to M, D is congruent to J, and so on. However, with similar figures, the corresponding sides are in a constant ratio. Essentially, they're proportional. We can look at an easier example with our triangles. Let's say AB was 5 and XY was 10. That means that these sides are in a 1 to 2 ratio. So if BC is 4, then its corresponding side YZ must be 8. And if AC is 7, then its corresponding side XZ must be 14. Thus, we see that constant 1 to 2 ratio 